Hello everyone, Marga here. Today I'm going to show you the new florals from Elizabeth Craft Design, designed by Josette, Joseph and Anita. I don't know which one who designed, but I know they uh, did all three some of the designs. So uh, I start to show you the collection. The only thing I don't have is uh, a stamp set. It's on its way, but there is also a stamp set with it. Uh, I show it to, it to you later. No, I have them not on order, but okay. This one is the Florals 23. And this one I'm going to use today and I'm going to make this flower. But you can also make with this one these flowers. You see, I uh, mix them with the uh, Everything's Blooming collection from Annette. So, that's one sample. I must... This first one. And this one I'm going to use later on. So... Then we have the Florals 22. And I have a sample from that also. Yes. <coughs> it's this one. And this I did with the bell rose paper also, see. That's the 22. Then we have the florals 20. And here I have a sample also. And this one I did with foam. It was my first uh, card with foam, so I like it. Uh, I was going to follow more. This is the florals 20. Then we have the Florals Mini, and there I have also a card made with all the different small flowers, and I uh, <coughs> sorry mixed and matched them together, and I colored them with one color. So uh, this is the Mini. Then we have the Elegant Leaves. Did I use them already? No, I didn't use this one. No. Then we had the Elegant Leaves too, And this one I'm going to use today. Then we have the Florals 21. And there I have also a sample of. And that's this card. And I show them later on uh, Facebook separately, so you can uh, see them better. So that was Flores 21. And then I have my bonbon box. And where did I leave my bonbon box? I have one. <laughs> it's a bigger one. So, this one I used with the uh, florals. I must look for 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 which one they are. This one, and I used the elegant leaves too. And you see, this one is also different, made as these flowers, and it's the same dye. So you can make more different flowers than you think. So this is the bon bon box. I'm going to use today the Belrose Pink paper from Esther Klaas. And I have prepared a lot. I have prepared a lot. I have here my card already. And two of the flowers I have done already because otherwise it takes too long the video I go check if the video is working yes to show to you uh, I start with making the flowers so they can dry and I have two prepared here already and then I must have a third one and this time I use the Zig Clean color brill brush markers and I used the number 
211 and the 214 and I show you how I using this we'll start. I do the darker color on the edge then the other color I wash it out and then with a water brush I go over it to the middle and that I do with every leaf so that's why I prepared a lot because this is taking a lot of time and it's a little bit boring for you but one I want to show you and as I said this one is also uh, a nice for uh, another flower and I'm not good in flower names so I don't call the flower names I think they are I like flowers but names is a different thing You can too, but not more than two, because then you cannot wash it out. I used a uh, soft finish cardstock from Elizabeth Craft Design, and it's not really a uh, watercolor paper, but it can uh, takes a lot of water. But official, it's not uh, watercolor paper. If you see some white here and there, go over it. As it looks now, it doesn't stay because I spritz water on the back later on, and then the front is also going to change. And if you don't want to, to change the leaves on color, then uh, don't use anything with water. Use uh, alcohol markers, then they don't change if you do the back with water. And I like to use water to shape my uh, flowers, so this is the flower. I'm going to uh, assemble the flower first. Because it has needs some dry time, so now I'm turning them, and I'm using some foot spritz, and I so then I'm going to take my flower mat. I hope I'm in the camera. Now wait a little bit for uh, the water soak in the paper so, and I'm going to take my tools for my flowers and I think this one is ready. Now I'm going to take this one and I go from back to the front every leaf so and you see the the paper is different now because the splatters of the water
and with the other card I did the same only I did uh, it this way I threw the uh, leaves this way and I colored the leaves on both sides but I made that flower sometime so I show it in another video that is handier I think so no. now I'm going to turn them and then they must dry a little bit before I can go further so I leave them here and then I'm going to make some leaves and that I didn't uh, prepare so I'm going to look not the yellow one I have here a darker one it's the 411 and the lighter one for four zero eight and four zero six, and I start with the darker one, I think. Then I'm going to take the lighter one. Colors. So you see three colors on these, and I these are also not staying like they are because I use water also. I'm going to do this quickly. No, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. But that's not a problem. These are not the same, not any leaf is the same. So we have a darker spot here. How many do I need? I think five. Always an uneven number I use. Also with the flowers and also with the embellishments, uh, always an uneven number. I don't know who uh, made this rule, but it was sometimes told to me, and I think it works. So, five I said, so two more. These are the new colors from uh, Zix. They got uh, 90 new colors in a short time. not more green in my card later on but it gives it just a better look some other color in it so these are the leaves now I'm going to turn them on the side also The other side, I must say, so that's enough. I wait, I 
and I'll see if the no, they are not uh, dry yet but I'm going to heat gun them a little bit otherwise you must wait too long so I'm using the art lit glue, this one. Later on I used the uh, uh, lime pistol. I don't know how you call that in English. But as you, I, if you see it, you know it. Push it down a little bit, then I'm doing the same with this one. <coughs> and then I had bought a really nice uh, box with small beads for a few euros. I show it to you. I think I bought it for four euros in a cheap shop. So they are all small beads, and I took this one out for these flowers. But you can see you can use a lot of these beads for your flowers. Not all of them, but for for use, I thought I take all with me. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to in the middle some of the small beads and I using the glue again I do a lot of glue in the middle and I throw some beads in it so then I do some glue on the top And also some beads in the top. And this must dry. So that's why I started with the flower. So this I'm going to lay aside me. And I hope it's dry when I'm there to assemble the flower on the card. And then I have my leaves, and my leaves I'm going to give a little bit You can also do a little bit with your hand, so they are not the same This one was really wet, but as I'm starting with my card, I think it's dry enough. So, this also, and you see, because of the water, they have also different looks now. You can also do it with you, by your hands a little bit if you think it must have more shape. So, but I think this one is good. So I can let it dry here. And then I must do, yes, I must, oh no. First of all, I must have here a, a seam binding ribbon and I want to use a piece of, I think this is enough, but I don't like it this way, it is too, yeah, too clean, too, 
So I'm going to spray it and I'm going to in Dutch you say kreukelen. I don't know how to say it in English. And I take the water from the sheet also to and I'm going to look. May have a little bit more. So then I'm going to dry it also with my V2. If you want, you can also uh, give it some color, but that I don't do this time. I want some light pink in my in my work, so this one is also ready. So now the only thing I must do is take my little off here and put my glue. Uh, how do you call this? My glue gun. Now I know. In the. And I have only one point for. And I hope it's in. Is it in? Yes. Mm. I lay it down here. I have some. Then it can. I go look if the camera is still rolling. Yes. Now I have here the flowers. The two of I have done. And I have the leaves. This is from uh, Everything's Bloom Collection from Annette. And I have the card already assembled. So this one can go on here. And this, this one I'm going to make uh, red on the edges with the candled apple distress. If I'm getting it open. A little bit. enough and then this one can also on go on the card This one here. Look if I'm a little bit in the middle. Yes. And now I have these ones, and they are very flat, but I don't want to make them uh, wet. But you can also do a little bit with your hands. Fold them a little bit. They don't need much, but otherwise they are so static. See, there's a difference with this one 
to lay that down so I think this one is coming here or shall I do no I do first uh, this one and then I'm going to do the seam binding Just a little bit up and then I maybe I want some here but this is too much so I take a little bit off and I bend it also a little bit with my hands This and then I want this. And I'm going to make O, I think. It's always easier. Someone is calling me, but not now. Uh, so I glue it in the middle. No. then just a little bit so I can uh, yes it's my my gun is ready but I think my uh, flower is not ready I don't look let's try now I can use it but first of all I'm going to use the bigger one so I'm laying this a little bit over here push it down I wait uh, a minute because there was uh, the ribbon on it, so uh, I must stay put then the one that was also ready. Into a little of the ribbon here. And then this one, but this one is a little bit tricky. <laughs> but I try to do it. I think it's 
ready and are my leaves ready because I have some leaves also a little bit of green color but they are dry I must say I don't know if I like this I thought a little bit of the green color is nice, but I must say I doubt now. Oh, this is gold. This is gold now. So. No, I said there. One is over here, so must watch from that one because the beads are not dry yet yes I have one left maybe one here or maybe not I think I will look one more time here because I want not even ones Here. But I must help it because here is all it's my finger and it was hot. So, yes, and now I'm going to look, and I think I leave the, the ribbon also as it is, but I want some spreaders, and spreaders is uh, not a good thing for me, because I always make a real mess, so I think... So, so... I have a splatter box, but that is not working in the video. So I hope I have. And then I have two uh, things. I have the Starry Colors from Ganzai Tambay and I have Dr. Martin's Pen White. And I'm going to use them both. So I must have my uh, splatter brush. And first I think I'm going to use the white. And I make it a little bit wet. I must have bigger dots, I want to have more. This is more, I think. See, this I like more. Some of the 
that are so bigger. So that's the white one. And then I'm going to take my Gansai out of the box. This one, maybe I get split it. You see, this is my favorite color because it I think it's enough now. So this must dry. Take all the pieces away. I don't uh, dry it with the heat gun. I let it dry. I go show it to you a little bit closer. If you see it. And this is my card I want to make today. So uh, I hope you liked it. And I hope to see you next time when I'm making a vid another video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.